not sure how a vacuum might affects. Be, might be like a cylinder or something. I, yeah. <laughs> a cylinder. <laughs> Man's like, he's got a he's cone. looking like, uh, oh god, who's the guy from <laughs> Hey Arnold? Oh, oh, I know the guy, but I didn't watch the yeah. show. I know exactly who you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, 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 he looked like him. Dude, I saw a guy. And do you uh, know Hey Arnold? Do you, who is that guy's name? The the guy with like the really, the the, the cylinder, like, the black guy. Black kid with, with the like the really tall cylinder like hair. Oh, you don't remember? Yeah. Oh, Big fan. Got to do it like that. Well, hey, you know what? Oh, we're Batman, getting right into it. Batman is rocking uh, not only the Afro, but the Joker Ooh. as well. And Burr is going to continue to do what he does best uh, with his Terry Burgard. Definitely. And we're going to be seeing that DLC ditto. Terry, uh, Burr's been rocking sauce with Terry, dude. He has been going off. He, he was already a scary force with Inkling. And now, I mean, now he's getting Terry. His results are even more frightening. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, there was a there was a time where we were like, oh, maybe Burr is PR with the with the Inkling. Now with the Terry, I mean, I would be shocked if he's not PR material. But yeah. I even mean, even if he's not, he's one of those people you're just scared to play in bracket. And it, you know, you, you gotta be. You gotta be respectful of the Terry. Ooh. But Woo! honestly, yeah, nice. Oh my gosh, get sauced. That Covered was it. amazing. And I, I like that he went for the burning knuckle there instead of the of the power dunk because that'll cover a few more options. You won't give your opponent the chance to get away. Uh, I mean, like, like unless they we, unless they jump out. Yeah, I mean, and in that situation too, like he had, he basically rolled to cover Batman's air dodge away, and that already scared him to basically think I only have this corner to escape, and that mm. burning knuckle covered all of those options. Now, meanwhile, I mean, we got to talk a little bit about Batman and what his oh. Joker's bringing to the table because, of course, Batman's, uh, you know, as many people in this region would know him as the master of many characters. Who and does that? And Batman would. Batman is seriously all about the fundamentals, and the only reason he's not better than he is is that he really just likes to focus on knowing all the characters and knowing his variety. And uh, when it comes down to fundies, Batman's got it in spades. You can see that this edge guard actually gets sniped out by the power dunk. I love that reaction there by Bird. Yeah, such a good sequence from both those players. Batman pushing such an extension, even reading Burr's jump out of that pressure. But Burr making an outstanding, uh, aggressive return back to stage with that power dunk. Mm -hmm. And okay. speaking of the power dunk, and we get the Joker back off stage, and that's trapping, I mean, for both, you know, the Shotos and for Terry. Edge guarding is definitely something that they can do really Getting well. I love charge. the storage on that, yes. Charge rising tackle, gonna take that, storing it up mid combo. Easy to miss, but uh, until you get hit by it. Mm -hmm. And then you go, oh, that's that's why that was you're, happening like that. You're just like, oh, yes, I uh, died way earlier when his legs are blown. Oh, yes. <gasps> oh, I, don't, no. I would not be okay anymore. Oh. Love that by Batman, though. His reactions, honestly, are what makes him such an entertaining player to watch, and that is Exhibit A. And honestly, Bird trying to dunk on him with that power dunk a little bit, but Batman... Great response. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he hasn't been getting caught off guard by any of the Terry Cheese. And that, that, honestly, that's what defines Batman as a player, I feel, is that he doesn't get caught off guard by weird character stuff. I mean, he knows all the tricks and all the tips. I mean, yeah, it's like you were talking at the beginning of the match. He's someone who really spends a lot, divides a lot of his time to just understanding how every character works on a fairly fundamental level. Mm -hmm. And hey, you know what? If you can understand Joker at a fundamental level, then you're doing pretty well because he is definitely one of the best characters in the game. Love the landing right there to put some pressure on the Terry. All of a sudden, it's looking super doable for Batman. Very much so. I mean, that R10 meter is almost back too, so. <gasps> Did you see the aerial drift after the one gun? That was so nice. I mean, he really had to keep Burr oh. guessing right there. He's not even on our set, and he's looking like he's about to take this game from Burr. Indeed, he will Such with the forward pressure. smash. Such good ledge pressure. We saw that in that sequence and that stock before. I mean, Burr was like, Burr would get put at ledge, and Batman was just like, hey, you're a book, and I've read you three times. Mm -hmm. Easy. And it's not much that Terry can do right there. I mean, he has to go for the crack yep. shoot or the burning knuckle to get back. And Batman, like I said, he doesn't get caught off guard by character stuff, and he's got an incredible reaction time. So the fact that he was able to pick up that edge guard, not surprising to me at all. Now, what does surprise me a little bit is to see that Burr is going to switch to the Inkling and also that Batman's going to the Lucas. Definitely, most likely a matchup stage thing, because like, I mean, like you said, Batman knows a lot about each character, and I have no doubt in my mind, this is just one of those matchups that, well, actually, no, I know this is a bad matchup. Inkling uh, Joker is one of Joker's few bad matchups. Mm. So that that's makes why, sense. Yeah, that's, why, that's one of the reasons Leffen talked about on his stream why he doesn't even uh, play Joker, because the only person he has to practice with is, with is Armada, and that matchup's hard. Yeah, Armada plays, plays that Inkling, so, you know, 
And again, Burr does keep that inkling. He still knows how to play it uh, on top of the, the Terry that he is now maining. But honestly, I really like this pick because you're thinking, okay, if Batman's not going to get caught off guard by any of the weird Terry stuff, Ooh. which is mostly how you find the kills, then go ahead and take him down with the more Fundies-based inkling. Now, you get that roller. Batman's got a pretty good match, so he'll get out of there without any more Definitely. excessive damage. But... Burr can keep that pressure going. I mean, you can know about the... I, I feel like Inkling's one of those characters. You can know about the Inkling cheese, but it's such so consistent and good that often you just can't even avoid it. Mm -mm. Also really hard to avoid that PK Thunder. Um, Batman's especially really well practiced in using that. He has used this character since Smash 4. Up there, up there. Not going to quite connect. Ooh, bomb to put uh, Batman back off stage. Ooh, <gasps> going to snipe wow. him out of it. Burr going deep and getting that four there. So mm -hmm. aggressive. Very confident edge guard, too. I mean, that kind of goes back to, you know, Burr grew up on Melee. You know, that's the game that he is that he was known for before this game came out. And I mean, some people still would argue that, too. So he's not afraid to go off stage. He's very confident in his ability to make it back. He's very confident in the ability to put those hitboxes exactly where they need to be. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that defines Burr, honestly, is just his control of his characters, especially in the air. You rarely see him make mistakes there, and honestly, that's the one thing I would tell anybody to watch when he's playing. I mean, he is a Falco player melee, I believe, so that's kind of like one of Falco's go-tos. Mm -hmm. Aerial combos, like you're getting laddered in the air. You didn't know it was possible until I had to hit you with it. Ooh! Speaking of, did you know that was possible? <laughs> 119 sitting on Batman. He's starting to lose this game. Looking like uh, Lucas wasn't quite the choice here. It might not be. Once again, yeah, Burr, like, okay. Yeah, I don't want to call it early, but... <laughs> I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't call it yet. I mean, Batman's, Batman's a solid player, but boy, speaking of solid, Burr has not been dropping these kills, and honestly, that can be one of the hard things for Inkling. Oh, I know. Like, yeah, if you're able... I mean, he's been getting them, like, fairly late, like 140, 150, but the problem is... He's having so much control, Lucas isn't able to even get in for a kill. Well, that's, I mean, right there. Yeah, I mean, you know, but that's, that's you, you know, you got that ledge trap picked up, and Batman has a pretty good ledge trap game going. I mean, especially with Lucas, he's got a lot of tools to do it as long as you don't, you know, overcommit and fall victim to the dark side of going, oh, but look at down smash. Going in so hard, he Burr just, wants this. Yeah, Burr really wanted a second roller, too. Now he's going to have to find a way to get out of these Lucas combos, and the spot dodge is what doesn't. Yeah, going to whiff him around that grab. No punish to extend it, though. Good jab, gonna get uh, Batman off stage. Nice Ooh. approaching with the Zares. Now, again, the spot dodge. We've seen, that, mm -hmm, we've seen that more than once, that spot dodge. This time, Burr gets a full conversion off of it to send it to game two, though. Definitely really good. We saw Burr miss that earlier at a little bit earlier of a percent. Maybe that's just like a later percent works. Maybe he had rage. I don't know. It could but, be uh, possible that Batman also tried to jump out instead of air dodge, maybe mm, thinking that Burr was having think, the adaptation. Yeah. Once, you, once you establish that you can make it out, you know, and once your opponent establishes that they can adapt, it's in 50-50 city, baby. No, yeah, it's 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 one of those cool levels of Smash that transcends just the general concept of, like, true kill confirms. It's when you set up for those 50-50s out of the kill confirms past their confirmed percent. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting to watch. Batman, yeah, kind of having a rough decision here. He doesn't want to go with that matchup, but... I mean, both, I mean, he's, oh, oh all right. Well, and here's, here's the thing about Batman. I mean, I feel like a lot of people have kind of forgotten or maybe don't know because they didn't watch during Smash 4 because it's been a while. But, I mean, even since then, I mean, Batman has always been somebody who knows how to play every character. I mean, if we had a, a random only bracket, he would be one of the people I would expect to be the deepest in there. I mean, he plays so many characters at a really, you know, respectable level. And so it's hard to go, okay, I have all these characters, who do I want in this matchup? But given the stage choice, I really like the Joker. It's going to be really... I don't want to say it's going to be easy for him to land. Obviously, Inkling can challenge those down guns, uh, you know, better than some other characters. But he's definitely got the down guns here on Final Destination, as well as ground pressure. Great read, jump read there from Batman. Got to put that uh, Burr back off stage. 103% sitting on him. He's in the corner. Mm -hmm. Now this charge on the up smash will be able to take out the Joker. Even with, so uh, just with that rage, it's enough, man. I always think that's going to kill, like, way later than it does. It's so yeah, strong. Yeah, it's a very strong move. I mean, you just got to get that sweet spot. And Blaster's wild. Yeah. Oh, cute little uh, situation there from Burr. Going to get a little bit of a jab advantage. Mm -hmm. I think right now, I mean, given that we're in game three, I think Burr's really picked up on Batman's uh, kind of rhythm at oh. which he approaches. Now... The one thing he does have to remember is, of course, if he's up close, sometimes Batman just hits you. Yeah, some people just press the C-stick up and you die. <laughs> That's just... Oh my Ooh! goodness! Oh, gonna get rid of the double jump with the down air and gonna kill Burr so early! Man, you were talking about pressing buttons and how some people just do it. That's not at all what Batman did. He had the read on Burr there offstage, 
had to have a little bit of patience to land it, but with that downer, puts himself in a really nice lead, and we'll see if he can continue to, you know, kind of keep control of the stage. If he plays more grounded, I mean, Inkling obviously dominates that with the roller sometimes, but so far he's been having a lot of success once he gets Burr into the air. For sure. I, do, I swear, Joker's, like, often the most scary when he's about to run out of our set. Yeah. It's like, you almost there, and you know that Joker is just like, all right. I'm gonna kill you. It's time to do whatever, and boy, he almost did great air dodge to get out of that situation. Burr with the parry on the landing, aerial from the guns, but still not able to land the roller afterwards, so it's really right now a question of can Burr find this kill before Batman gets another R set. Yeah, I mean, Batman's really just content to nickel and dime Burr right now. He's so far ahead, and he's only extending it further, 113. Mm -hmm. And now backer. drops down so deep for that backer, and he's able to finish it out with a two stock, in fact. That backer was so good. I mean, we saw Burr on that last game with the precision on that edge guard against Lucas, and we saw the exact same thing coming out from Batman on that last stock. Man put him off stage, just threaded the needle between the stage and uh, Burr's upbeat. Back aired him, easy. Mm -hmm. so really great good. positioning. And that's the thing that I'm really happy to see from Batman is really, really good spacing. We saw great spacing in that match against somebody like Burr who does exactly that. Like, that is exactly what defines him as a player. But Batman executed that really well, too. And that's one of the things that I feel like if he gets a really good handle on, uh, you know, that's where he's going to start making it out of pools like he just did to get into top 32 winner side. So, I don't know. I'm excited to see a guy like Batman getting wins like that on oh, yeah. potential PR this season. It's really fun to watch 